morning everybody. It's Friday 18th of uh, October and I've got a day off work and uh, I'm down somewhere you may recognise. I'm back down my old club lake. Um, I've had a quick look around the lake. I've put my buckets in a swim. Um, I'm about halfway down on the north bank. There's a few people fishing on the opposite bank. Um, they say it's been a bit quiet, not much showing. Uh, one did, one guy did lose a fish last night at the net, um, and apparently there's been a few fish out in the last few weeks. So there's a chance. Um, so let's, fingers crossed, we'll give it a go. We know what they say: uh, a bad day's fishing is better than a good day at work. Okay guys, just want to quickly uh, show you what I've been doing. Um, I had a little bit of a shower, so I put the bivvy up pretty pronto. Uh, but before that I was having a feel around with the marker rod. And um, I found a couple of spots. There's lots of really shallow bars out in front of me. Really shallow. And there's a few swans about. And they were obviously capable of uh, taking any baits that are put on top of the bars. So I'm trying to find some deeper spots, uh, which tend to be the siltier areas. Um, now I found a couple of deeper areas. I've got one that's four and a half foot, which is straight out in front of the swim, and I found another one that's just over four foot, and it's just to the left, left of centre into the swim. And so to make a note of where I'm putting the uh, the baits tonight, I'm using the Fox Swim Mapper. Now it's basically a glorified uh, notebook. Um, but you can take a photo of the swim you're in. You can save the uh, the photo as the swim name and keep it under whatever venue you're fishing. Because you can put a marker symbol. Oh. So what you can do is you can put a marker symbol in the skyline so you know where to cast over night time. And then you put notes in, like the number of wraps you're fishing and what the substrate's like. Um, as you put in the marker on it gives you an option of, of making the notes at the same time. Um, so that's me right hand rod and me left hand rod is going to go sort of in line with that little bumpy tree there. So I'm just about to put a marker on there and I'll show you that in a second. So there you go. So I've lined up the uh, marker to the other sort of skyline point. Um, I'm putting the amount of wraps I'm fishing and what the bottom's like. So good way of recording uh, your notes. Uh, I do tend to use a notebook because uh, I, I do find it often easier but um, but this is a handy thing to have and uh, yeah I couldn't find the pen from your notebook so I've used the app today but yeah let's, uh, hopefully those will be two good spots. And there's only two rod limit on this water. Uh, it's going into some silty area uh, so I've got a lead clip with a two and a half ounce lead. Not a big lead but not a small lead. Um, and I've got about 14 inches of coated braid. I've got a looped up section to loop onto the swivel down at this end. A bit of putty over the, the knot and a bit of putty at the other end. And then a combi linked uh, section of doubled over rigidity into the, uh, using a chod hook. It's not actually using for chod, but I use this because it's got rigidity and it sits nicely. Um, and on there I've got a bottom bait and half a pop-up and that's set to just waft so the uh, the baits are just sitting over the boat, the hook the hook's going to sit proud, like flush on the lake bed like so and the baits are just going to sit off like that uh, I've tested it in the testing jar and that's exactly what it's doing there so um, without further ado I'm going to stick a uh, stringer on 
and uh, get it out on the spot. Good evening guys, finally set up. I took, a, took my time, took a slow, leisurely sort of uh, set up time and uh, now I'm finally got my rods out. So the left hand rod is a PVA bag with a two ounce lead and uh, I've got a live system bottom bait with half a live system pop up uh, with some pellet and some drum boilie in the bag. That's at um, 11 and 3 quarter wraps to out to my left. Uh, I'm just looking for someone setting up opposite. Uh, and I've got my right hand rod is 13 wraps, 13 and a half wraps in some silk. And I've got a long hook length on that. And on that rod, I've got the uh, Pacific Tuna. And again, I've got a bottom bait with a pop up. Uh, nice long hook length. Uh, two and a half ounce lead on the lead clip and uh, yeah, a string up on there. So the baits are out, um, they're out there until the morning or hopefully they get picked up before them. But uh, it's very windy, uh, I'm trying to keep the uh, camera inside the bivvy to cut down on wind noise. So uh, bear with bear with any wind noise that you may, may get. Um, but yeah, so we're set up and uh, We've got a couple of nights ahead, so there is a chance. Um, you know, there's been apparently been a few fish out recently, um, but it is busy down here. Like I say, there's someone just setting up opposite me now. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what gives. Um, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about seven other people on here tonight. Um, so yeah, and that's it's still early days, it's still um, only early afternoon on Friday, so there's a few more may turn up. So it's actually quite busy. That's fishing for you, you've got to, uh, you know, go with the flow sometimes. But, um, of course I've got a bait out, I've got some spawns out, and now I've got the baits out. And yeah, it's time to uh, sit back and uh, keep an eye on the water, see if anything starts showing. I've not seen any fish whatsoever, but um, time to have a bite to eat and uh, a cup of tea. So wish me luck guys, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay guys, you're just joining me as I'm tucking into a plate of chili con carne. Also got some tortillas, and a can of the black stuff, which, you know, it's not what you'd normally have with a chili. But somehow it works. Cheers. Morning guys, it's first light, first cup of tea of the day and uh, not a lot to report. Had a few knocks on the right hand road, nothing major. Um, and I've just had a twitch on the left hand road. Um, but yeah, it didn't develop into anything so... I've just second line off on, the on both rods as the wind's died right down. Um, get a bit more slack line because it was quite tight yesterday um, and that might have had something to do with that sort of bit of movement on the bobbin but uh, yeah it's very quiet I've not heard any buzzers go anywhere but that doesn't mean anything not these days with the uh, sound of boxes um, be interesting to know if anyone has caught uh, but it's very quiet very still I've not heard any fish show I've not seen any fish show um, 
but I had a fantastic night's sleep. Like I say, first cup of tea. I'm going to sit here, wash the water for a bit, see if I see the fish showing, and uh, see what gives. Catch you in a little while. Okay, it's just 10 past 8. Quick update, I've just had a, a liner on the left hand rod. Bobby went straight to the top, stayed there. I was just watching the rod tip, just seeing if there's any movement. There wasn't any, and then Bobby just dropped all the way back down to the original position. So uh, there's something out there, which is interesting. Um, hopefully, it'll go off properly soon, but who knows. Uh, it's quite a nice morning. The sun's coming up, there's not much cloud in the sky. Um, probably going to be quite a nice sunny day. I don't know if the wind's going to pick up again. Um, but yeah, the baits are still out there from yesterday afternoon. Um, so hopefully the baits are still on. And uh, I don't reel them in just like bare hairs. Uh, but let's see what happens. I'll let you know uh, once I re-tackle and uh, cast out. But these are out there until at least 10 o'clock this morning I'd imagine hopefully something will pick them up before then but, uh, fingers crossed guys it's just getting on for half 11 and I've moved to swim. Uh, the guys that are fishing on the south bank, the bank opposite where I was fishing, have all packed up and gone. Um, so I quite fancied a change of scene. I've not seen any fish, I've not seen anything show. The guy who's just packed up when I was just next to me now said he did see some fish in between me and him last night but I didn't see him. I was out, out for the count last night in my new bed. Um, yeah, it was so comfortable, I was just gone. But hey, anyway, that's another story. But it did mean I missed out on spotting potential fish. But anyway, I've moved swims. I'm back in the swim. I've fished a, a few times in the past. Uh, you may recognise it from all the vlogs. So, uh, fingers crossed, the change is as good as the rest. And uh, let's hope we get something happening. I've not got any rods out yet. I've literally just put the bivvy up and slowly set up. And uh, just getting the rods out now. And uh, yeah. Let's see what's out there. Afternoon guys, it's now getting on for four o'clock and uh, obviously nothing's happened because uh, otherwise I'd have shown you. Um, 
I had a bit of a twitch on the left hand rod, but it didn't roll into anything, could have been a liner. Uh, and I've just recast the right hand rod, so I wasn't exactly 100% happy where it landed before. Okay, the right hand rod is, uh, I've recast that. It's a PVA bag with a drop off inline lead. Um, and what I've got on there, I've got uh, a live system bottom bait with a bit of corn as a topper uh, and in the bag I've got a few tiny small pellets well some tiny pellets and a few crumbed up boilies um, now that's out there um, on the rig itself it's a simple blowback rig short length about three four inches and it's on a soft coated um, braid with length so it can bunch up inside the bag nice and easy um, I've just recast that because I weren't exactly happy where it landed before. It was a, probably half a rod length off where I wanted it to be. On to the right, so I put it bang on the area I wanted it to be. Um, I put some spawns of bait out earlier. Not many, just a few spawns over each rod today. I've also catapulted a sort of spread of boilies over each rod as well. Um, so, again, not a lot, just um, sort of 30 baits around each one. Just hopefully get any fish in the area interested. So that's the plan. And the left hand rod is the rig that I showed you earlier um, with the extended hook using doubled up rigidity combi link to um, a semi stiff um, coated braid. Uh, I want it to be able to sort of contour to the, the lake bed. Um, and that's quite a long hook length, probably about 13 inches long. Uh, with a few bits of putty down the hook length. On that I've got a uh, Pacific Tuna bottom bait with half a Pacific Tuna pop up and that's just wafting nicely on the bottom. The hook's sitting flush on the leg bed and the baits will just be sitting above the hook. So that's the left hand rod. Uh, left hand rod has been out there since I cast it out earlier today and uh, I think I'm going to keep it out there. I've had a twitch on it um, indicator sort of jerkily rose to the top and then jerkily rose back down again rose back down and then jerkily went back down again um, possibly a liner could have been a bream I don't know but it's uh, not done anything like it since so I'm keeping it out there uh, just bang on the on the spot where I wanted it to be and uh, yeah just a case of waiting now um, someone else has turned up opposite me, well I was last night actually, someone's going in that swim so now there's, and someone's just moved in further down on my right so tonight there's looks like going to be four anglers on the on the lake, there's one guy in the shallows one where I was last night, myself and the guy on the same side as me um, down to my right so a bit quieter, not so many people fishing so uh, it may be what we need, who knows just keep those fingers crossed and uh, got another night so there's a chance guys just getting on for about 25 7 it's not long been light and I've got nothing to report um, I was quite confident yesterday I had a, a, a line on the right hand road about half past seven uh, last night and a couple of fish showed not long after over the, uh, the left hand road so um, yeah I was feeling pretty confident uh, it's been flat calm all night it was pretty chilly. Uh, it was nice and snug inside here though. And uh, yeah, but not a beep on either rod. So uh, yeah, 
little bit gutted. I suppose there's still a chance, got another couple of hours or so. Um, but yeah, I think I'll uh, make a cup of tea in a minute, pick myself up, and uh, yeah, start thinking about packing down soon. But uh, yeah, looking like a blank for me this time. Um, which doesn't surprise me, it's not an easy lake. Uh, I think it's got hard over the years, and uh, yeah, it's proven to be the case. So, I'd love one of the indicators to start singing, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so, that's that, guys. That's the end of the session. Um, I'm going to start slowly packing down. Uh, hopefully, the sun will come up in time to dry the bivy off. I'm going to put the camera away now. Um, so thanks for watching if you watched this far and uh, oh, it's been a bit of a slow one and unfortunately no fish and no action so uh, yeah maybe next time but anyway if you please subscribe click on the button over there and maybe watch another one of my videos right here thanks guys see you soon